Hi, and welcome to Section 2, Sprites Overview. In the last section, we discussed the information needed to start a 2D project. In this section, we'll discuss the key 2D objects that will be used in 2D games, sprites. We will start this project by discussing how to import a sprite into a project and the different settings options we have upon import. We will look at the sprite editor and discuss how to effectively manipulate sprites through it. We will explore the sprite renderer component and all of the properties we can easily change via the inspector. And lastly, we will look at the importance of sorting layers when working with sprites. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with exploring the sprite import settings. In this video, we are going to review what sprites are and the different types of sprites. We will discuss how to import a sprite into a project, and then we will discuss how to correctly select the import settings for our sprites. A sprite is essentially a 2D image. Since we are working in 2D, the majority of our in-game art assets will be sprites. Each of the following images is a sprite. Sprites can come as single images like this one, or as a large image composed of many smaller images like these two. A sprite sheet is a series of same-sized images uniformly spaced and often used for animation. A texture atlas is a packing of various sized images efficiently onto a single page. While the two terms traditionally have separate meanings, it has become commonplace to refer to any image composed of multiple smaller images as a sprite sheet. I generally refer to them in this fashion, and will use the term sprite sheets to refer to both image types unless it is necessary to make the distinction. The easiest way to import a sprite into your project is to simply drag it into the project window. So let's import the three images into our project. I have the three images on my desktop, and I'm just going to drag them into my sprites folder. Since we are in 2D mode, any image file we import into our project will automatically be imported as a sprite 2D and UI texture type. There are multiple benefits to this texture type. It preserves PNG transparencies, it allows us to select a sprite mode, and it gives us access to the sprite editor. There are three different sprite modes, single, multiple, and polygon. You will use single for a standard image that you want to be bounded by a square. You will use multiple for sprite sheets. And you will use polygon for images that you do not want to be bounded by a square. When you build your project, Unity will pack all of your sprites into a single texture atlas. This improves performance on your game. However, you can override the default that sets all of them into a single image by giving images packing tags. A packing tag is a user-defined name. Any sprite containing the same tag will be grouped into the same texture atlas. Any sprite without a tag will be grouped into the default texture atlas. The pixels per unit option allows you to state how many pixels of your sprite will coordinate with one in-game unit. The default is 100 pixels per unit. If you are making a game that is tile-based and all of your tiles are 32 pixels by 32 pixels, it would be a good idea to set this to 32. Then you can position objects in the scene based on whole number increments rather than fractional increments. The pivot point of a sprite determines the point on the sprite that will register its position. So, for example, if a sprite has its registration point in the center and you position it at the coordinates 000, the center of the image will be the point on the sprite that is exactly at the point 000. The pivot point also determines the point around which the image will rotate. Therefore, an image with a pivot point in the center will rotate around its center. The Generate Mitmaps option means that smaller images will be generated for the sprite if it is to appear further away. This is usually only relevant when working in a scene with a perspective camera, as orthographic cameras, the default in 2D mode, do not make objects appear smaller when they are further away. The Filter mode is also relevant with perspective cameras. It essentially determines how an image will look as it gets closer to the perspective camera. If it is in bilinear or trilinear mode, it will blur as it gets closer. However, in point, no filter mode, it will get blocky. You can set the default size and compression settings for your image. You can also override it based on the platform you are developing for. You may have more or less options here depending on the platforms you imported on install. If you are creating a game for multiple platforms, this is a quick way to show that you want images to be larger or smaller based on the performance of the machine. In this video, we discussed what a sprite is and how to properly import it into our project. 